Anthony, what, what, what are your key messages for the experts uh, here today? Um, the key message is very obvious that they matter. And with the progress of forensic science in criminal cases, the scene is entirely different to what it was when I began. And all I want to do is put that in a bit of context, make sure they get paid, understand the criminal procedure rules, and strangely, even more so, the criminal practice direction which is what the Lord Chief is not allowed to put in the rules, but lays down the instructions to, to experts, um, to talk a little bit about digital case system and the importance of getting their material onto the computers. Uh, and finally, if we have time, and I doubt it, uh, just a little bit about how an expert is just another witness and they need to come over to a jury in exactly the same way as any other witness. They must be credible, they must be reliable, they must be believable for the jury. Probably a difficult question to answer, but uh, at that last point you, you make, what would you say are the key points in coming across to a jury as credible and reliable in terms of the way you give your evidence, which I think is what you're referring yes, to? Yes, uh, I very much listen to what you're being asked. Don't preach a message. Um, avoid arrogance at all costs. Um, try and keep it simple. And one of the messages I want to give is the importance of talking to the lawyers beforehand, not just a quick meeting but a full briefing session so they can understand what you're trying to say and then help you put it in a way that enables them to make it clear to the jury. So, Tony, you have a huge experience in criminal law. You've practiced criminal law for, for many years. The developments that we're seeing now, particularly with digitization, what are your views in relation to that, thinking about your experience over your career? The, the, and the digitalization for my generation is quite hard to get used to. But I've got no difficulty with it at all. It does remove all the quantities of paper. It makes it much easier to manage the case. Uh, the CPS still have some way to go to get it all in the right place at the right time, but they're getting there. And that means you can then concentrate on what's in those papers, identifying the parts that you need to pull out to a jury's attention. Uh, and it, it, it is a step in the right direction. It will shorten uh, jury trials and enable them to concentrate on what really matters. Bon Solon uh, published uh, a survey that they've done of experts, and, uh, particularly in relation to criminal cases. One of the conclusions that came out of that were that um, it was experts' view that juries weren't capable of deciding the issues that they were giving evidence about. What's your view in respect of uh, the way an expert gives evidence uh, on that issue? I'm afraid I'm merely going to echo another speaker that spoke already today which is that it's not for the expert, it's for the lawyers. It's our job to get the points clear. That's why the briefing beforehand is important. It's why we have to understand it. I've just spent the best part of two years understanding exchange traded funds. Incredibly complex marketing tool. Um, but, but once I can understand it, then you can put it in a form that others will understand. And I don't worry about experts and I'm concerned they're saying they're not understood because it means they haven't made themselves clear to a lawyer whose job it is to get it through to the jury and if the jury system's to survive we have to make sure that it's put in a form that the jury can understand.